Hello everyone, Adam here with Android Authority, and I have a great review of the app, Reddit Sync Pro. As I open up the app from my home screen, you'll notice that the design is very up-to-date with the ICS and Jelly Bean standards. The flow from screen to screen is very smooth and holo-themed. Now, when you open the app for the first time, you will be greeted with the front page of Reddit. You can sort which posts you see on this page by hitting the top right icon and choosing from what's hot, new, rising, top, and controversial. Speaking of posts, if you click on one and look at the comments, you'll notice that the, this app not only shows you the karma, but how many upvotes and downvotes a certain comment has received. Going back to the top of the app and working from right to left, you'll see that there's an update button that will refresh your feed and a submit button where you can submit either text, a link, or a picture that you can take on the spot or grab from your gallery. Before I move on, you'll notice that if you are logged on and have any subreddits, you can easily switch between them with a flick of your finger on the home screen. I added Android on there just as an example. While I'm on the subject of subreddits, you'll see that if you go to the subreddit page, the icons on the top of the screen will change to Add Subreddit, Refresh, and A to Z Sort. Another way you can sort your subreddits manually is by pressing and holding the squares to the right of each entry and moving them to the position of your choosing. This is great if you want to sort them by your greatest to least favorite. If you were to press and hold an entry anywhere else, you will be able to delete that subreddit. Moving on, if you press the Reddit logo on the upper left corner, you will see a main menu of sorts where you can do a multitude of different things. Subreddits is pretty self-explanatory. Casual is a cool feature where you can view a subreddit without subscribing to it. It makes it a lot easier to view other content uh, you're interested in without making that dedication. Search is yet another self-explanatory button. Profile will display your karma and recent posts if you're logged in. I just created this profile so you'll see that I really don't have anything going on here. Saved is an awesome tool that shows any images or posts you saved for later. While we're here, I'm going to select this picture I found and show you that you can pinch to zoom, which is pretty cool. The images on this app are hosted by, now I'm probably going to butcher this, but uh, Imgur, Imgur, it's I-M-G-U-R. I probably didn't say it right either way, but, you know, I'm sorry about that. And uh, anyway, they're actually pulled from their servers. Going back, messaging will display your inbox and your outbox. Sync will do exactly what it says. Uh, there's logout. And finally, settings. If you press that button, you will see that the developer or developers didn't skimp at all with what you can do. You have things like initial comment count, message check interval, and color scheme. Color scheme will change my default blue theme to any of the other available colors. Scrolling on down, night mode will change the background to a sort of grayscale and the font to white. You also have other toggle settings like internal browser, handle, there's that word again, imgur, imgur, I don't know, <laughs> galleries, and Google Drive integration. Google Drive integration is by far one of my favorite features. If you have the Drive app installed on your phone and this option is checked, then any image you save on this app will be pushed to the cloud, freeing up space on your device. This is perfect for someone like me who loves to try out a bunch of apps every single week. The final interesting setting on here is Hide Not Safe for Work Threads. This is really helpful, if only because it'll save you from getting in trouble at the office. That's all I have for this review. Reddit Sync Pro is an amazing app that will certainly stay on my home screen for a while. I hope you enjoyed this review and please give it a thumbs up and some feedback in the comments below. This is Adam from Android Authority, signing off.